what if I just took 20 random items and I went and bought those items at both Pick and Save, which again is Kroger, and Walmart. Hi there and welcome to my channel. I'm Jennifer, this is A Country Life, and I have been an Aldi shopper for nearly 25 years. Maybe, maybe 24, okay? And I have always found their prices to be the lowest prices around for a long, long, long time. However, I have recently, over the last, um, I'm in about my third, the middle of my third month or so of shopping uh, according to the flyers. So that's watching for my local Piggly Wiggly and Pick and Save, which is a Kroger, watching their flyers. And since I know the Aldi prices, I've been watching for things to be less than Aldi and then I've been buying them there. I have that opportunity because I don't have babies and toddlers that I need to take in tow and so it's it's fine for me to go to multiple stores. And I really wanted to know if I was only going to go to one store, what store should it be? And without going and buying an entire grocery list of things at these other stores, I thought, let's just take my most recent Aldi receipt. Here it is. Keeps going. <laughs> there it is. And at the bottom, it told me that I had purchased 173 items. And I thought, what if I just took 20 random items and I went and bought those items at both Pick and Save, which again is Kroger, and Walmart, and checked to see what would be the cost on that. So here's what I've done so far. I took 173, I divided it by 20, and that told me that every eighth item on this receipt I needed to buy. So I just put little marks on every eighth item there. And then I wrote down the whole list. So what I'm gonna do now is head on over to Pick and Save and I'm going to buy these 20 items. I will tell you that at Aldi, the items came out to be $39.03. So let's go into Pick and Save, get these items and just kind of check the prices. All right, well the next item is cling wrap or plastic wrap. And I think I just found it up here. Can I stretch? Yes, I need 200 square feet. That's it, 269 for that. Okay, well that was super intense at pick and save. Wait till you see how much that was. Now I'm off to Walmart to get the same 20 items. Mm, they don't have a 13 ounce at all here. So we'll have to go with the 18 ounce. I'm home now and I'm just going to recap this a little bit for you. So I purchased 173 items originally at Aldi. I took a random sampling, every eighth item on my list here, and I wrote all of those down in my notebook with the size or the count or whatever it might be. You can't see all of it right now, but I went to both pick and save and I went to Walmart. I didn't pull everything off the out of my pantry and refrigerator and things like that from Aldi because all of that was put away because I bought that stuff the other day. I'm sure prices are changing daily at most grocery stores, so these weren't all purchased on the exact same day except for these two, the pick and save and the Walmart things. So just to know what we're comparing against, $39.03 was my total at Aldi. So we're gonna start with the canned goods here first. So we have just your basic cream of chicken soup. We have the Kroger brand and the Great Value brand. I was always watching for uh, the lowest price when I was going to these stores. You know, Aldi typically has maybe one or two options of different things. And so, you know, you don't have as many brands to choose from, but at both Pick and Save and, and Walmart, there's lots of brands. So I just chose the store brands from both places. The Aldi cream of chicken soup rang in at 58 cents. Then we have the Pick and Save, which rang in at $1.19, and the Walmart matched Aldi at 58 cents. The sliced cling peaches in 100% um, juice. So at Aldi, that item rang in 99 cents. Kroger brand rang in at $1.59, and the Great Value peaches rang in at $1. 
So I guess Aldi won that one by a penny. Next up, we're gonna do the mandarin oranges. So again, I was able to get store brand at both of the grocery stores. And the Aldi mandarin oranges were $1.15 for the same size can. The Kroger rang in at $1.29, and the Great Value rang in at $1.48. So Aldi won that. Um, Kroger was second place for that one though. So we have a gallon of 2% milk. When I was shopping at Aldi, milk was $1.49. Now we know, at least in our area, milk prices change daily around here, uh, but both places today rang in at $2.89. All right, let's talk heavy whipping cream. Oh my goodness, <laughs> this is literally the most expensive thing that I bought today. So the Aldi price is $2.99, Pick and save, are you ready for this price? $6.99, and that was a sale price down $1.50 off of their regular, regular price because it was on sale. Walmart, it came in at $4.14. So Aldi was clearly the winner with those products. So we'll do the cheese curds next. The Aldi cheese curds were $4.29 and then here are the ones 12 ounces and it didn't matter the flavor they were all the same that's why I picked up a different flavor here at Kroger at at um, or at pick and save so the and these are star dairy they are, say they're also from Wisconsin and these were $4.99 for 12 ounces and the Walmart which are Schulzburg Creamery also Wisconsin cheese per cheese curds at Walmart for 12 ounces, they were 513. So Aldi clearly won, but Kroger was in second price there. We'll talk corn dogs next. So a basic six pack of the regular corn dogs at Aldi were 279 at Pick and Save. The Kroger brand came in at 329 for a six pack. And at Walmart, the corn dogs came in at 347. So not a big difference in price. So actually Kroger came in at the second place, but Aldi was still the winner. So the snack sticks, which is an eight ounce package of snack sticks at Aldi, $3.49. At Pick and Save, they rang up at $3.99. And at Walmart, they rang up at $3.58. So actually, and I guess by just about 10 cents, nine cents, um, Aldi was still the winner on that product. And now for the beef smoked sausage at Aldi, it came in and that is a 12 ounce package, which both of these are also 12 ounce packages, came in at $3.19. The Hillshire Farm um, beef Polska kielbasa, these are like my only options for beef at both stores, but still 12 ounces, came in at $4.79. And at Walmart, it rang up at $3.98. So again, looks like Aldi was our big winner. So a six count of English muffins at Aldi is $1.15. I was able to get a six pack of the Kroger brand for $1.49. And at Walmart, they only had a 12 count of the Great Value brand, so I ended up finding the Thomas uh, English muffins. Again, it didn't matter on the flavor. The six count were all the same, and those came in at $3.18. So again, Aldi was our clear winner. Heads of lettuce, and that can really vary because you know, usually lettuce is just sold by a whole head, and this one definitely feels a lot heavier. But anyway, I got the best looking head of lettuce I could at pick at Aldi. It came in at a dollar thirty-nine. At pick and save, it was a dollar ninety-nine, and at Walmart, it was a dollar seventy-four. The restaurant tortilla chips, a thirteen-ounce bag, was a how come I forget that so fast? A dollar twenty-five at Aldi. Pick and save, the best deal I was able to find were the Mission Chips, and these came in at $2.49. And at Walmart, the best deal I could find were the Great Value for, as well, 13 ounces, $1.74. So, Aldi, clear winner. But Aldi, they have a cereal that is similar to life. It's called Balance. And it is a 13 ounce box at Aldi. 
rings up at $1.79, and we actually really like it. We haven't found a huge difference between the name brand and the Aldi brand. And they had the exact item, uh, or they had the exact size at Pick and Save, 13 ounces. They did not have any store brand option or any other option for this. So I did have to buy the brand name, and it came in at $2.89 compared to $1.79. And then at Walmart, they had their store brand, but they didn't carry any 13 ounce box, not in the life, not in the name brand or in their brand. They only had the large size and the family size. So I did get a different flavor. I just went with the cinnamon this time. And at Walmart for a, a bigger size, 18 ounces, so five more ounces, 272 for you know a little bit bigger. So actually this was a better price than at at pick and save just because you got you know five more ounces for just a few pennies less and then also um, but still the Aldi one does come in at a better price point. All right, let's keep going here. So we have graham crackers. I was able to get both store brands, so Kroger and Great Value at Joe was in the background giving me a thumbs up on this one. So at Aldi, the graham crackers for 14.4 ounces, which both of these are the same size. The graham crackers were $1.59 at Aldi. At Pick and Save, it's $2.19. Walmart comes in at, and I did go with the cinnamon ones there just because I have enough of the honey ones and they were the same price. So cinnamon at Walmart comes in at $1.60. So let's see, what was our Aldi price again? Was it $1.50? So it was $1.59 again at, let me just double check that at Aldi really quick. Yes, $1.59. So um, great value were only, are those, those are not great value. Great value were only a penny more. So I would say, I mean, obviously Aldi wins, but Still not a bad price at Walmart. Vanilla wafers at Aldi are $1.95, and that is for an 11 ounce box. Let's take a look at the Kroger. I did have to get the mini. They had their full size ones, but they were only in the Nabisco brand, which were over $4. <laughs> so I went with the minis, same ounces, and if I was making anything or eating them, we would be just as happy with the minis. And these came in at, 219 and the great value again for 11 ounces were two dollars so aldi is a winner but only by a nickel so actually any of these prices i don't think are the worst let's go with the goldfish crackers so we've been getting these uh flavor blasted goldfish crackers from yeah i know joe's giving me another smile at Aldi, they must make a special size just to sell at Aldi because they are an 11 ounce package. And I could not at both Kroger or Walmart find the 11 ounce package. They only had them in the paper 10 ounce packages, which the Aldi ones come in like a, more of one of those like foily type or plasticky type of um, packaging. Anyway, let's look at the prices of the exact same item at these two stores. So first off, the 11 ounces at Aldi rings up at $3.98. At Kroger, sorry, at Mander, oh my gosh, at Pick and Save, they are $3.79. It's an ounce less. I'd have to do the math to figure out if that's actually, um, you know, price per price per ounce savings, but 11 ounces for $3.98, 10 ounces for $3.79. I would say that's very comparable. And at Walmart, they ring in at at 268 so that is a great price i am totally getting ripped off when i buy these at aldi we have brown gravy packets so kroger and the great value brand at aldi they are 30 cents for a brown gravy packet that is a 0.87 ounce package at kroger it was 49 cents and at Walmart, it's 30 cents as well. So same exact price as Aldi. So Aldi actually carries a container that looks similar to this, but it is a 2.5 ounce container at Aldi. And it's 97 cents for 2.5 ounces. At Pick and Save, the Kroger version is two ounces, so a little bit less. And for 
for $2.49. That is a ripoff. At Walmart, it's actually a little more. It's a three ounce container. They did not have any two and a half ounce container at all, and it is 98 cents. So this is actually a better deal. Walmart actually wins hands down on this item. So semi-sweet chocolate chips. They're all 12 ounce packages at all three stores. They are $1.85 at Aldi, at the Kroger brand at Pick and Save comes to $2, and that was a sale price, and the great value are $1.98. Again, Aldi is a winner, and oftentimes, if you watch, Aldi will have them for $1.69 a bag, um, but currently they're at $1.85. Plastic wrap at all three places is just just regular old cling wrap, 200 square feet at Aldi. Feet is $1.85. The Kroger brand at Pick and Save is $2.69. And the Great Value brand from Walmart is $1.97. So again, we have Aldi as the winner. All right, and that's everything. So let me just give you, again, what, were, what was the price for all of those groceries at Aldi? $39.03. Let's look at the price at Pick and Save. I need to do some math. 9 plus 7 is 18. Peter, remember the number 86. Here you 1, 3. And the cost for all of these groceries at Pick and Save came out to $55.86. And Walmart came in at a whopping $47.36. So although there were a few items that were actually I would say the most notable item is right here. This item must be bought at Walmart. <laughs> um, and I guess this was kind of ish. I mean, I don't know if a half ounce is a big deal, but anyway, uh, that was also one of those things that was kind of, kind of a good deal. But other than that, everything else seemed to be the best price at Aldi. So I would say if you are not shopping the sale flyers and watching for like the digital deals and all those types of things, if you're not using Ibotta and watching for like the different items that are on the Ibotta app for that week, if you just want to make a list, go to the grocery store and get your stuff hands down. Your best option is to go to Aldi. Now, if you're the type of person that sees all of the extra special buy items and things like that, then Aldi is probably going to uh, be comparable because you're going to end up buying more things thinking that you're getting such a great deal. When I need to go, and that is how I have shopped for like 24 years, I have always shopped at Aldi for the bulk of my groceries and then anything that I could not get there, I would head over to Walmart. Now, was I always getting the best price at Walmart? I could have been watching sale flyers at, say, Pick and Save, and I probably could have gotten some of those things for, um, you know, less expensive at Pick and Save when they're on sale. But that is the thing. If you are the type of person that does not want to have to pay attention to the sale flyers, then, um, yeah, I, I would say that Aldi and then Walmart is probably your best bet. Um, I have been shopping flyers, and if you are interested in how that ha is going, I will pop up a couple other videos here where I shared like a grocery haul where I just shopped the flyers and found some fabulous deals. I actually bought a couple other things today that are not in here because it wasn't part of this video and this comparison and experiment. Um, for example, I was able to use the digital deal coupon at Pick and Save and I got half gallons of milk for 87 cents again. I also was able to get strawberries, one pound of strawberries for $1.57, uh, where they're, they're not that price anywhere else, even at even at Aldi, they are more expensive right now. So if you are able to do those digital deals, I have found that they really, really can bring the grocery bill down if you kind of like to stop stock up even when you don't need the items, but you wanna purchase them now and just kind of bring them out as the months go about, except for milk. Although a lot of people freeze milk. I've honestly never on purpose frozen milk because I feel like the jug would split. 
or is there enough sugar in there that it wouldn't split? I'm not really sure. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And who was our winner? Aldi was our winner. You guys have a fabulous day. Bye. So I also want to just point out that a number of these uh, items we are going to donate to the food pantry because my pantry is very full. So anything that is not perishable, we are bagging up right now because our homeschool co-op no, milk is perishable, honey. That's gotta go in the refrigerator. Our homeschool co-op is having a collection right now for the for our local food pantry. So that's what I thought that we would do with most of these groceries.